What about the class? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Hey, it's Good nice evening, to see sir. you in the class. How's it going? Good, Good evening. Good evening, Christina. Brandy, on time as always. Vicente, how are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. What about you? The fine. Okay, just ready for the weekend. <laughs> I think everybody's ready, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at Danny. Hey, Daniel, every single time. Daniel, you get... is not, Daniel is not ready for the weekend. He's on the beach right now. I can <laughs> see that Danny, every single time Daniel gets into the class, he's just like, I don't know, uh, going now with his uh, family. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Ruth. Angel, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, it's nice to see you. Hello, Christina. Hello, Brandy. Hi. 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 Angel. Ruth. Hello, teacher. Hello, Angel. Okay, let us wait a little bit so that we can uh, start the activity with, the, with everybody at the same time. I have Ra Rafael Cruz. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Carla Selena. Carla Selena is just getting into the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Rafael. Hope you are having a great time. It's nice to see you again. And let me see, I have 10 people connected. Carla got into the class and things are becoming better. Okay, so what's the activity for tonight? Who remembers? No, we were talking just about uh, the different houses yesterday. Compression, use new vocabulary. Uh -huh. I have a problem with this yeah, word. Medium. It's vocabulary or vocabulary? Vocabulary. Can you repeat again? Vocabulary. Vocabulary, okay. All right. Okay, so what did I tell you yesterday? Today we're supposed to do something. What's that? What is that something? Continue with the presentation. Well, we can take some minutes uh, to continue with the presentations, but well, I think the time is not going to be enough. Maybe we can we can have some time at the end. But there is something that's uh, like um, pretty important tonight. If I if I remember, it was review the midterm. Exactly. We're going to have a general review about the midterm. I know that you have already completed that activity. Have you done it? Did, yes, you, did, did you finish the yes, midterm? Okay, remember yes, that you have a... Finish the midterm. All right, you have... I mean, this is the last day for you to finish the activity, okay? So that's why... Uh, we, I decide to have like a general review in case you haven't finished it and so that you can finish it tonight. Okay, it cannot be tomorrow, people. It needs to be tonight. It needs to be done tonight. If you haven't done it, finish it tonight. Uh, when, finish. when finish? And which part finish? And which part finish? Because I be, I, I'm working, what? I mean, you need to finish the whole activity, the midterm. Uh -huh. So if you haven't done it, okay, tonight you will have the opportunity. That's why we're going to have the general review about it. I have 14 people. Alejandro says, good evening, teacher. I'm working still. And if it is difficult to hear you clearly. Okay, so it's all right. Okay, I, I understand, Alejandro, and I will try to speak as clearly as possible so that you can listen to me clearly. Okay, I have a Jessica, Fernando Alberto, Gladys, Cecilia, etc. Remember that's important for you to activate your camera, people. Activate your camera is quite important. Okay, Alejandro, pretty good. Now, let's get down to business. Let us start the activity as quickly as possible because it's kind of uh, uh, long, all right? 
So we share the screen. We're gonna start talking about a listening activity. And as you can see over here, this is this is the activity. Let me see. There are some people chatting. Chat. Uh, Gladys says, "I always try to make camera, but I'm on my way." Okay, Gladys. Okay, as soon as you get home, activate your camera. Uh, well, this is a midterm, right? You you have already done it. What what is the listening all about, people? Who remembers about the listening? Do you remember? Uh, well, listening. Yeah, I mean, because... but what is what is what is the what is the listening all about? You did it, right? You already finished. Yeah. Yeah. What what is what is all about? You don't remember? Do you? Not about they this. were they were about uh, talking about uh, grew up of. Uh, of a man uh, who says grew up in in San Francisco and uh, was somebody who wanna was leave born in Japan but moved to San Francisco and grew up there and grew up there okay so what are, we, what are we going to do we're not going to be like okay we have multiple choice over here San Francisco Japan San Diego and the second mm -hmm. one we have to collect all pictures, read comic books, watch mysteries. And the number three we have, it's, it's too much traffic, isn't enough parking downtown and adding enough uh, houses. And in the last one we have writing, writing, writing to work with Steve, asking a neighbor for a ride and calling a phone number. Okay, so we have multiple choice, but right now we're gonna listen to it and then you are mm -hmm. going to take notes about the listening. Okay, so at the mm -hmm. end, you are going to provide a general idea about what the listening is, is all about. Mm -hmm. All right? Van a okay, tomar good. apuntes. Le voy a, to le, le, le voy a dar play. Y ustedes van a tomar apuntes. Al final, okay, yo voy a elegir tres personas que me expliquen de qué se trata el listening. Okay, con oraciones mm -hmm. completas, ideas completas. All right? All right. Okay. okay. Okay, so if you have problems with the audio, just let me know it, okay? Here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Yes. Okay. At one, listening at two, and listening at three. Here we go. We were supposed to start now. <laughs> okay, now, yes, I think we are more than ready. Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No. I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. 
Four. Hey, Steve. Guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. All right. Okay, just give me one second. We're going to answer this info first. Then we're going to listen to the audio. Uh, uh, I mean, in sections, okay, part one, part two, part three, and I will be like asking people to, to retell actually what the listening is all about. Uh, Tom grew up in, where did uh, Tom uh, grow up? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. Francisco. Tom, what's the answer? Tom grew up San Francisco. in San Francisco. Tom grew up in... Tom, Tom grew, grew up, up in San Francisco. San Francisco. What about Carol? Carol, you he's from Japan. What? Uh, he's from Japan, Carol, but he grew up in San Francisco. San Francisco. Now, what about Carol? What can you tell me about Carol? What's read Mr. Coming book? Carol used to read comic books. Oh, Carol used to read comic, comic books. books. Comic books. According to Helen, they're what? According, According to, to Helen, Helen there According is a to park in downtown. downtown. Enough there isn't enough parking downtown. It's not enough parking downtown. And according to Anna, Anna can join the carpool by. Anna can join the carpool by calling, a, calling phone a phone number. Calling a phone number. Okay, so we're gonna check it, and then we will see if we if we did it in the right way. Just give me one second, cause okay. Then, then we're gonna listen to it. San Francisco, read comic books, isn't enough parking downtown, and calling a phone number. Perfect, very good. Now, getting back to the activity, I told you, right? I will play the track again, and then I will ask people to provide uh, or to retell. But the listen, what is the listening all about? By sections, okay? One by one. Yes. Okay, okay so I will good. say, for example, part number one, and then I say, Vicente, okay, retail, what's the listening all about? Okay. Okay, so be ready. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, this, I think this is going to be the hardest exercise because it's a listening. Section one. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Okay, that was the first one. And let me see. Fernando Alberto, okay, you are the lucky one. Tell us, what's the audio all about? <laughs> Listen to Fernando Alberto, okay. What do you remember about the first uh, the the first part? There's a conversation, right? Okay, right. Vicente, you will have the opportunity, okay? But okay, I want to listen to, to Fernando just right now. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. 
So, Fernando, if you don't remember, tell me, okay? Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, sorry, because I have, have bad internet and you and the signal is poor. Ah, okay. But I I remember, I remember uh, Tom is from San Diego, but live in San Francisco, and he born in Japan. All right, so you 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 got a lot of info. That was fantastic. Thank you. Okay, I think Fernando has like a, 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 a the whole info. You you got the or you got the whole info, right? That was Vicente, I think. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Um I remember that uh, Tom born in Japan and he was a child moved to San Francisco and grew up there. And um, he does speak uh, Japan and uh, he's the new neighbor neighbor in, 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 in the neighborhood. Good. That's Very it. good. That's it. Rafael, I think you want to say something else. Uh, Tom Jordan is the new neighbor um, of a girl. She asked um, he uh, born in San Diego. He was he uh, answered he uh, grew up in San Francisco and born in Japan. All right, she, very good. Uh, she, uh, she asked if, if he speak Japanese. He and, asked uh, him if he, he spoke Japanese. Spoke Japanese, okay. And he answered uh, no speak Japanese. And he doesn't speak Japanese. Pretty good, Rafael. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Part B, everybody, okay? okay. Pay attention, mm -hmm. take notes, do whatever you consider it's important to remember the whole info because I will ask you. Here we go. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. All right, let me see. Elizabeth? I don't listen. Uh, I don't listen good, teacher. Oh, okay, let me see. Hey, Brandy. Yep. Yeah, what do you remember? What's the conversation about? They were talking about the milk. They were talking and about a meal? Uh, the man asked what she did when she was a child, and she said that uh, she loved to read books, but now she uh, recollected a uh, black and white picture. All right, very good. Gladys, I think Gladys wants to say something. Gladys, your turn. Yes, I'm sorry. I couldn't find the microphone, but... Okay, uh, I listened that uh, she spent her childhood uh, really in the books. And she used to read comic books, comic books. And she loves to reading mysteries also. Fantastic. She used to read comic books. All right, but now she collects uh, white and black photos, right? Very right. good. Right. Part C, pay attention. Part 
part C. What happened to your part C? Give me one second, please. Some? No, thanks. Photographs. Okay, now yes. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Okay, Gladys. I think Gladys wants to continue uh, participating. No, teacher. I, I was changing uh, from my cell phone to the computer. Okay. I couldn't pay attention. Sorry. Okay. Maria del Carmen. Good evening. Good evening. She's talking about the traffic public, and she said that we need more parking. More parking enough. There is there isn't enough parking downtown. Okay, very good. Let me see people in the chat. Okay, Daniel, I got it. And let me see, Christina. My way home, I can listen very well. Ah, okay, Angel. Yes, teacher. Yeah, just tell me what's the uh, third part all about. Uh, she is talking about not not it's enough parking in the now in in the neighborhood and. There's much traffic. There's too much traffic. Okay, Cecilia, did you get some more info? Um, she went. She went to the city in the night. She um problems traffic and isn't enough. Parking um, and talking about the need um, many parking garage. All right. I okay. Think, uh, okay. Go ahead, Brandy. I, I think Brandy is the same problem everywhere now because we have a lot of cars. We don't have enough uh, parking lot. And the pollution is uh, the same in everywhere. Even you can breathe because you only breathe the smoke. And what she said more. And there are several people. It's like several cars, and everything is like at a rush hour. And even you can you can cross the street because the car is uh, moving. So it's the same history here, and I think in all the world now. Hey, who is from San Salvador? Oh, I'm <laughs> the same. Now you, under, you, you understand pretty well what the lady is talking about, right? Yeah, the same problem all the city has. Yeah, now now in Santa Ana is getting some somehow similar to the to what's in the in the audio. Okay, you but are from there, I went. Yeah, I went um, to the chiropractic yesterday, and I say, okay, I will go at two o'clock because it will take me like a twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I went to two o'clock. Supposedly a rush hour. You know, the traffic is like at three between three uh, thirty or four o'clock. But no, it now is any time. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now in the last part, people, pay attention. <laughs> Hey, Daniel, this is for you. I'm telling you in advance, okay? <laughs> okay, Be Daniel. Ready, Daniel. In Spanish, say pilas, pilas, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is for you, totally for you, okay? So pay special attention. Uh, my goodness. 
<laughs> restart again. Yeah, I will do so. I had to wait 30 minutes. It's what? I had an interesting evening last night. Buses. That's okay, true. Now pay attention. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve. Guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay, Daniel and after Daniel, Evelyn. Okay, sir, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear, we can hear you. We can hear you, Daniel. Just, just now, can you hear me? Yeah, we can, we can listen to you Go perfectly. Ahead. Okay, okay. In this part, I, the part I can understand is with the, some people waiting uh, for the waiting for the bus, the bus, but uh, the bus has uh, many difficult. And someone, uh, the, um, the guy says, talking about with the carpool. I think the carpool is a group of people that have using a car, and they can contact for use the car in group. This is the, uh, this is the uh, my but, operations. Fantastic, Daniel! You got most of the information. Let me listen to. Let's listen to Evelyn. Evelyn, I wonder if you got more info. Evelyn, Susana. Well, Evelyn may have some problems. And also, I think it was Vicente, the one who wanted to participate. Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, the lady who are, were talking about the the buses, one of one of them was waiting for 30 minutes, the bus, and they were talking about many cars in the city and talking about carpool. I mean, uh, uh, that, that mean is, uh, for example, if uh, there are three or four person living in the same neighborhood and use uh, all of them has a car and they uh, agree to use only one car, maybe to go uh, to their job and uh, come back at the afternoon or I don't know. Hey, and the... uh, a few cars in the city, I guess, with that idea. Fantastic. Hey, don't you think that will, that will work in El Salvador? Like having a carpool? It's, yeah, that's the first uh -huh. time that I hear about the the carpool, but it's like a kind of, uh, they have a line. If, if I live here, for example, in San Salvador, and you have a line and you travel every day to Santa Ana, so they contact these people because they're mm -hmm. on the way. They don't going to go to uh, Usulután or San Vicente because mm -hmm. it's another way so they mm -hmm. contact they, they have to wait to contact and they have to like uh throw the line and say okay this the, your your neighbor is uh, near to this place or she uh, she or she she or he can pick up you and you will be on the way mm -hmm. exactly pretty good right hey you know we have a lot of activities what are we gonna do now we're gonna move on to the next next activities okay and over here, what are we going to do? In a very quick way, I need to see the chat. And in the chat, you are going to you are going to type the whole sentence, okay? As mm -hmm. quickly as possible, okay? I need to see that in the chat. And then I, you, you are not going to speak. 
Okay, now you're not gonna you're not going to say was you born where I born uh, where you born. No, do me the favor to type the whole sentence. Okay, in the in the chat, and I will check it. Okay, the first I see in the chat, I will choose the first I see in the chat. Number one, quickly, people, because we have a lot of a lot. Okay, where were you born? Where were you born? So it does Gladys. Gladys type that one. Okay, number two, number two, type the second one, people. Did in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Where is the where is the answer? Don't don't speak. Only type the answer. No, but I need I need complete sentences, Brandy. What do I mean with complete sentences? You are you are forgetting that. All right, now that's better. Did you study French in high school? Good. Did you study? Did you study? Did you study French like that, right? That's what Gladys um, typed. Number three, and this is the last one. It says, complete the conversation. Use the past tense and make sure you not to use. Uh, or use capital letters when necessary. This is important, right? When from college, they graduated from college in 2010. Ah, uh, uh, Brandy, problems with the past, Brandy. No, Rafael, you forgot about the auxiliary deal. Okay, Gladys got it. When did you graduate? When did Remember about the auxiliary. You graduate from college. All right, so we're gonna see the answers and then we will see if we committed some mistakes, okay? Now this is this was correct, very good. Where would you put, and now yes, you are allowed to speak. Who can read the first people? Who can read the first one? Where were you born? Me. Okay, where were, you, where were born? you born? I was born in Mexico City. Number two, who wants to read number two? Did you study French? Did you study French in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He okay, and we, we committed a mistake. As, can you see the mistake? Yes, yeah. because he's key. Uh, yes. and we're talking about uh, you about, and he. Yeah, that's right. So we're talking about him. We don't know who are they talking about, but uh, 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 a man, right? <laughs> Did he study French in high school? No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish, Spanish. right? And number three, wants to, who wants to help me with number three? When did they graduate from college? When did they graduate from college? from college? Okay, that's fantastic. Pretty good. All right, next exercise. So we will see what to do in the next one. Listening, use the past tense, vocabulary. This is about vocabulary, people. Over here, yes, you're going to speak. Choose the best word to complete the sentence, okay? But but when choosing the word, do me the favor, not only say me beach, a beach or paint or soccer ball, no. Tell me the whole sentence, please. Only one person. Number one. Every summer, Sam used to go to the beach with his friends. Good. Number two. I really uh, enjoyed playing, really enjoyed chess playing when I was a teenager. Yes. Really good question. When I was a teenager. Yeah, but can so. Only one person. Yes. I really enjoyed playing chess when I was a teenager. Chess. 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 All right. And chess. the last one, Ruth. 
Ed had some unusual pets, included a rabbit and a snake. Okay, unusual. Very good. Unusual. 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 Now that we have, let's see, every summer Sam used to go to the beach with his friends. Good. And number two, I really enjoy playing chess when I chess. was a teenager. Number three, it has some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. Excellent. Very good. Now I hope you have done it that way in the midterm. Okay, now let's see. Let's move on to the next one. That was the questions about vocabulary. No. No. Can okay, no, you okay. repeat uh, the words and in initial? How do you say? Ah, the, the vocabulary about okay. unusual. 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 Yeah, usual. And the opposite is unusual. 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 Yeah, so vocabulary is done. Did you pronounce teen teenager? Uh, okay, the word teenager. Teenager. Yeah, that's a teenager. So the intonation is the first two letters. Teenager. Yeah. Teenager. That's a teen a teenager. teenager. Yeah. Okay. Vocabulary just two. Okay, so I hope you do you remember about the weight of using this expression. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna complete the conversation by using the correct form of the expression used to and the verb given. Make sure you use the correct capitalization when needed. And don't use it, sorry. And don't use it whenever it's not necessary. <clears throat> Example, did you play basketball when you were in high school? Uh, did you used to play basketball? Okay, as you can see over here, this is very important, okay? So if you want, if you are going to start a statement, you know that you need to, to use a capital letter, right? Besides that, after you do, the verb needs to be in, in the base form. So that's what you need to remember about it. Okay, and let me see. Okay, let us use the chat once again. Okay, people, people in the chat need to see the answers in the chat. Now, don't speak, use the chat. Use the chat, uh, but, but in this way, in, in this case, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, different. Daniel, I got yours. ¿Saben qué? La primera respuesta la voy a copiar y la voy a pegar. Esta es de Daniel. Y de ahí la vamos a, la vamos a, vamos a ver si está correcta o no. Ok, number two. Number two, number two. La primera respuesta, esa es la que voy a agarrar. No matter, no importa si está correcta o incorrecta. Ok. Esta, esta la agarré de Jessica. Ok. Let me see. Number three. Number three, number three. Okay, I think, I, I, well, I, I, I will take uh, Brandis. I think I will take Brandis because I can I can see that, that Jessica has some problems when typing, but this is Brandis. Okay, number three, okay, I got Gladys. I forgot the D. Yeah, I, I, okay, I got Gladys. This is Gladys, okay? Gladys, okay, number four, let me see, let me see, let me see. No, let, let's see, let me see. Give me one second, please. Give me one second, give me one second. Okay, in the number four. Okay, now I, wa I want to see in the chat, what's the, where, is, where is the best option? Number four. Okay, so uh, Ruth says collective, and that's it. Okay, we got it. I will show the answer and we're gonna see what happened with this part, okay? Let me see, let's see, let's see. In the first part, do you used to, do you yeah, used yeah. to, oh. or do you used to? No, okay, now, the best option, aquí, aquí, como en realidad la plataforma no está este, evaluando, digamos, la, las, las, Letras mayúsculas y minúsculas, por eso pone así a, a la plataforma. Ahorita lo que le importa es que usted use la gramática correctamente, pero como a mí sí me está interesando, sí me interesa que, que usted escriba con, con mayúscula, entonces por eso lo estamos chequeando. The to play, entonces sí, estamos bien. Ok, number one, it's all right. 
Number two. Hey, what happened to him here? ¿Qué pasó aquí? I told you, I forget the user. I forgot the letter D. Ah, uh, okay. Now, don't forget it, okay? Just two. Now, when I, uh, ¿cuándo es que no lo vamos a ocupar? And when we use D, because what? the D is the auxiliary, and you can use all the verbs in uh, present. Fantastic, Brandy. Now I can see that you got it. Hey, what about the number three? I made a mistake. Uh, who who <laughs> made a mistake? Gladys. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Uh, yeah, I put letter Brandy. D and used. Uh, actually, you committed two mistakes. ¿Cuáles son esos dos errores? When you use this. Capital letter and. Take a look. Capital use. letter and. And the past Ah, ok, lo vamos a corregir. Como no estamos, no estamos iniciando oración, entonces lo vamos a poner en minúscula. Y acá, como... Okay. We, we use in the auxiliary, we don't have to use in past. No past. Ok, algunas veces, ahí lo veo en el, en el chat y veo que por cositas así, ustedes eh, se quiebran la cabeza mucho en la plataforma. Entonces... Fijémonos bien, por eso estamos haciendo este ejercicio para, para si están con otro teacher en el, en el otro módulo, entonces pues ustedes ya van a saber cómo trabajar la, la plataforma. All right. Number four. Okay. Oh, I never collected. Very good. That was right. Daniel, right? Collect. Collect. Yeah. Collected. Uh, who? Collect. Ruth. Collect. Ruth was Collect. Collect. Okay, very good. So fantastic. So we did it. Any question over here? No. No question. No question. No question. So it's pretty good. Don't Let's see. It. Let's move yeah. on with the word order. Now, in the word order, the what are you gonna do? Well, you need you need to put the words in the correct order to make sentences. And since <laughs> since this is seems to be like more like a a writing exercise, then you are gonna type. Vamos a seguir con el con el chat, ¿ok? La primera que yo vea, esa voy a elegir. Pete, hey, traten que sea una de estas, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok, I need to see what's going on in the chat. Let me see, Daniel, no. Need to see the answer in the chat, people. I can't type so fast. Fewer shield noise, there are less be car thin. Where's the message there? Need to see the end. Okay, Angel. There should be fewer cars and less noise. There Let's should talk. be fewer cars and uh, number three. That's what, what uh, Angel says. Number two, I'm scrambled. It's the same story, right? The sentences then choose the best way to rewrite or to write the sentence. And then we have. What is the best option over here? Lanes should more uh, we bicycle have. That is that is a statement, right? The first I get, I will copy and paste it. La primera que vea voy a copiar y la voy a pegar. Daniel, I got yours. Okay, Daniel. Give me one second, Daniel. This is what Daniel typed. Okay? This is what Daniel, this is what you typed, Daniel. We should have more bicycle lanes. Okay? And I think the period, right? Okay, number three. Pollution is much there to a air. There, okay, Jessica got there is too much. Wait, give me one second. There is too much air pollution. That's what Jessica typed, okay? This is Jessica's participation. He says, there is too much air pollution. All right, in the period, right, Jessica? Number, oh, so we're done with it, good. Let me see if we did it. Let us, let us take a look at it, all right? In the first one, okay, very good. That was Angel, right? Angel was the one who chose this one. 
there should be fewer cars and less noise. Pretty good. Then we have we should we should have more bicycle we should have more bicycle lanes. I think this this was Brandy, no. Put typed in the number two. Who? Uh, Daniel, Daniel got yes. number two. All right. Then we have number three. There is too much air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Who got number three? I typed, but somebody typed too, the same. Gladys. Uh, Gladys was the one. Pretty good, Gladys. So you did it. That was fantastic. You see, we have this band style and we have we we have had a great time by having a, a review. Ah, oh, and Derek Christians are coming. All right, let me see what's going on here. I, this is going to be a little bit difficult because uh, you have to type the answer. Okay, there's no other no, choice. I okay? hate <laughs> you hate typing. Okay. But you know, don't worry because it's going to be only for the midterm and the final. Ruth, do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Do you know where the nearest? Re oh, it's number one, uh, Ruth. Number one. Okay, number two. How much do newspaper cost? Okay, people I need to see the answer in the chat. I need to see the answer in the chat. Hello, are you typing? Yes. Okay, it's a, a little, it's a long sentence, right? How much do newspapers cost? Could you tell me how much the newspaper cost? Okay, so this is Gladys, let me see. You said number one, Gladys. No. No, the second one. The second one? Could you tell me how much cost newspapers? Okay, Gladys says number two. We will check it later and we will see what's going on there. Number three. Anna Ivania got it. Let me see, Anna Ivania. Then you say that's. Do you know where the best bookstore? Do you know where, where the best books are in town? Okay, you say number two, Anna Ivania. Number four. Jessica got it. Can you tell me what time uh, the bank is? Let me see. Can you tell me what time the bank closed? The banks. The banks. Number one, as far as I can see, Jessica. Yes. Okay, now very, over very here. Very fast, teacher. Uh, huh? Somebody type very fast. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't do yeah. When and they the, go to number three, I'm the number one. <laughs> and there are some others like me, like we were like in a pica pollo mood. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe somebody dictation to the keyboard. To the keyboard, that's right. Keyboard. <laughs> hey, listen, we're gonna check. Desde ya les digo que hay algunas cosas que no están bien, pero vamos a ver qué nos dice esto acá. Ustedes, ustedes me van a ayudar a corregir. Where is the nearest restaurant? Do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Vaya, eso quiero que les quede claro porque ya al final ya no les ya no les mandé el ejercicio que les iba que les iba a mandar, pero sí ya tengo el enlace. Va, cuando tengamos el indirect en in, in, in interact as questions, vamos a hacer esto, miren. Como acá, where is the nearest restaurant? Es de forma directa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, de ahí, lo único que vamos a hacer es incluir. Do you know? Do you know? I wonder. Do you know where? I wonder where. Just by chance, do you know? E, e incluimos esto, ¿sí o no? Yeah. Esto es lo que le incluimos. Ahora, fíjense bien. Aquí aparece el verbo to be. Y acá 
lo vamos a hacer como que estamos afirmando la oración. Miren. The nearest restaurant is. ¿Se fijan? Ese es, la gran, ese es el, el gran misterio de, le, de estas preguntas. Entonces, yo cuando, cuando yo lo estudié, yo lo único que hice es, bueno, dije yo voy a omitir esto y lo voy a hacer como que si estoy afirmando la oración. Y ya tengo mi, eh, mi, mi, mi interact question. Ya la tengo. Entonces, acá lo único que, lo, lo único que se hace es incluir es, esa frase y poner como si estamos afirmando la, la oración, ¿ok? Por supuesto, Perfecto. sabemos que es una, una pregunta y que debe llevar un signo de interrogación. Eso es todo, ¿ok? Let's see. No more Spanish, I'm sorry. Ok, now let's move on to the next one. Ah, aquí nos equivocamos, miren. How much do newspaper cost? Uy, el tiempo se nos está yendo. Miren, la respuesta correcta era, could you tell me how much newspapers cost? Cool. ¿Cuál fue el error? The verb is ah, not at the end. Se fijan lo importante que les dije en la primera oración. Vale, ¿cómo? Solo, solo lo vamos a analizar porque esto, solo este vamos a analizar así. Esta es la expresión que le vamos a incluir. Could you tell me? Ok. Could you tell me? Eso sería. How much, how much eh, are the news, or cost the newspapers? Entonces acá. Could you tell me how much newspapers cost? Miren el verbo. Ok. Si fuera solo, 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 um, Solo esa parte, could you tell me, well, no, it needs to be how much, right? Could you tell me how much newspapers cost? So, el único error que tuvimos fue la posición del verbo. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's move on with the next part. Let's see. This is, this is correct. Okay. And this one is correct as well. Okay, miren, chicos. Voy a pasar la lista. Casi terminamos. Tenemos el read comprehension. Esto está súper de ese way. ¿Saben qué? Léanlo ahorita y yo voy a preguntar vocabulario mientras, mientras ustedes están leyendo y analizando eso, voy a pasar la lista. ¿Les parece? Ok, good. Ok, uh, good. Ok, váyanse a la plataforma, porfa. Voy a dejar de compartir y voy a empezar a, a, a pasar la lista. Pero ya ustedes ya saben que estamos en la rating section. Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Ana Jansi. Angel. Present teacher. Brandy. Present. Cecilia. Present. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Diana Stephanie. Is Diana over here? I remember I saw Diana in the class. Diana Stephanie, are you here? Please say hello so that I can notice if you're here. Elena Noemi. Elena. Evelyn Susana. Present. Fernando Alberto. I hear teacher. Good. Uh, Gladys. Present teacher. Iris Concepción. Hello Iris. Hello. Well, Iris. Eh, Jessica Alejandra. Present teacher. Good. Carla Selena. Carla Selena. I remember I saw Carla over here. Carla, are you there? No. 
No, Carl is not over here. Kevin Alexander. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Present teacher. Oscar Alejandro. Yes, teacher. Yeah, Oscar is there, right? Rafael. Present. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael Cruz is there. Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Vicente. Here, teacher. And Janira Elizabeth. I'm here. Okay. Solo voy a repetir para que confirmar, para confirmar. Ana Jansi. Diana Stephanie. Si me he equivocado, me corrigen, por favor. Elena Noemí. Iris Concepción. Carla Selena. Kevin Alexander. Sandra Noemí. And that's it. Okay. Okay, we finally got it. Teacher, me, I am here. Hola. Give me one second. Who's talking now? It's a baby. Present teacher, I am here. Who's talking now? I'm sorry. Carla is talking. Carla is talking. Oh, oops. Give me Carla, one second, Carla. Carla, give me Carla one sec Selena. Yes. Okay, Carla, give me one second, please. And I think it's we're gonna be done quickly. Carla. Carla Selena, right? Very good. Now, ya corregí, Carla, no se preocupe. Okay, people, I think okay, that you are... thank you. Okay, I think you are done with the I lecture. And, well, I, I, I don't think we're going to have enough time, but at least uh, we're going to read that. We're going to read it. Thank you. Vamos a leerlo y ustedes van a investigar más acerca de eso. O sea, esto tiene dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, nueve líneas. Para el día lunes, ustedes nos van, vamos a agarrar ese tema y ustedes nos lo van a presentar. Uno, uno, dos de ustedes nos van a presentar esto. Si les parece la idea o el invento, por qué okay. les parece, si buscaron más información, etc. Okay. I can explain right now, I'm ready. Okay. Ah, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. now listen, listen carefully. One. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if you if you uh, read the information. Eso ya lo hicieron, verdad? Solo díganme qué qué es lo que ustedes eligieron. Dan Cameron invented the Seaway HD. I think HD for high technology, if I'm not mistaken. The Seaway HD, uh huh. It's cheaper than buying a car. It's cheaper than buying a car. Number three, the new transportation device. Recharging four, 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 four hours. hours. And the Segway HT. Cool. 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 Ya vi que sí leyeron esto súper bien, entonces voy a cambiar mi tarea. No. <risa> I have no. That no, no, porque esto ya se lo pueden, entonces no, no, no me funciona. Vale, entonces como anyway. ya se pueden esto, el lunes nos van a presentar un invento, que no, no va a ser el Segway, que tiene que ser otro, de, de un invento que nos ha beneficiado a todos los seres humanos. ¿Cuánto, cuánto, va, ¿Cuánto va a durar su presentación? Aquí tiene dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, por lo menos nueve líneas. 
¿ok? Que nos lo van a presentar. Eso es para el día lunes. Lunes. Eh, sí. Por favor, chicos y eh, jóvenes, eh, señoritas, eh, caballeros, eh, damas, por favor, completen las actividades de la plataforma. ¿Ok? Cuando ustedes hacen las actividades, mmm, todo queda registrado en el sistema. O sea, por eso están los porcentajes. Si usted hizo un 50%, problemas. Problemas porque no está cumpliendo con, con lo que se le está solicitando. Si cumple con el 80%, o sea, 80 es el mínimo. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. 80 es el mínimo. Eso es respecto a las actividades y también respecto a su asistencia a las sesiones. ¿Ok? Si puede asistir a, las, a todas las sesiones, wow, eso es genial, eso es perfecto. Sabemos que puede haber... Yeah. <risa> Sabemos que puede haber un imprevisto, que de repente alguien tuvo pues un retraso o algo, pero no va a ser todas las veces. Entonces, por eso es que se solicita por lo menos un 80%. Así que, hey, ha sido un placer volverles a ver y a volver a, a, a compartir con ustedes el lunes. Me sorprende. Nos sorprenden a todos con esos inventos. Hey, y si no, y si no quieren buscar ¿Qué? inventos, invéntense uno ustedes. I was ready with the other one. <laughs> okay, see you the next week. Okay, see you next week. Pleasure. See you next week. Have a nice Good weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Nice weekend, everybody. Bye, teacher. See you. Okay, bye, bye. See, you. Night. see you Monday. Bye. 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 bye, bye, classmates. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, Daniel.